So a ways back at the very beginning of my channel, I made a video all about Marvel's Wolverine. I kind of listed off a couple theories I had about how the layout of the game would be, maybe what kind of villains could be in the game. And since then, I've actually been getting comments on other videos of people asking me who I think will be in Wolverine. So I kind of felt that it was necessary for me to make an updated video where I kind of just primarily focus on the villains that could be in Wolverine. Wolverine. I definitely am going to be covering this game a lot more as we get more information about it. As of now, we really don't know too much about this game. We've only seen a teaser as well as we just recently got news that Insomniac Spider-Man is in the same universe as Insomniac's Wolverine. On my channel, I like to have fun. I like to theorize with you guys. So I figured why not give you guys my top five villains that I think might be in Marvel's Wolverine. So without further ado, do let's just dive right into this list number five Deadpool now this is a character that I kind of go back and forth about quite honestly because he's really grown in popularity over the years he's gone from being a villain to an anti-hero with quirkiness and his level of popularity could work for him being in the game as well as against him I'd have him higher on the list if this was like the 90s since then he's really become a brand that's all his own he's actually rivaled the X-Men in popularity. I wonder if Insomniac wouldn't want to just either save him for his own game or make a Wolverine slash Deadpool team up game. I can't discount him because Insomniac has been known to cherry pick lore and kind of alter things as well. And surely Deadpool could be used as just a straight up villain because the thing is that if you do throw him in this game, you would probably have to alter the character a little bit, probably take away the fourth wall breaking or you know hey if you find a way to make it work then go ahead and make it work but I am kind of thinking they may save him for his own game where you can really have Deadpool as the character that we know on screen and that who is beloved and you can actually have Wolverine probably go into a Deadpool game easier than fitting Deadpool into a Wolverine game without having to alter him but I had to put him on the list because it definitely would be a wow moment and Insomniac they've been known to throw in things to get that reaction so had to put him at number five for number four I'm going to put Lady Deathstrike. Lady Deathstrike is another iconic Wolverine villain as well as an X-Men villain. She has the adamantium nails and she's been portrayed many different ways in the different stories that she's been featured in. Most recently in X-Men 2 United where she was a colonel to William Stryker. She would obviously fit in with a Weapon X story. She could be used as an assassin or as someone that has some sort of previous connection to Wolverine and she definitely would be a threatening villain she is very similar to Wolverine and once again Insomniac likes to tinker with the lore to make things their own so they really could use her in a multitude of ways I think that she would fit really nicely in this game as a boss that you fight as someone in the story that is a reoccurring issue for Logan number three I have to put him on the list he is Wolverine's most iconic rival in that Sabretooth I would be very, very surprised if Sabretooth is not in this game, if not possibly even the main villain, but certainly he kind of has to be in this. He's just, he's as iconic as, you know, Dr. Octopus being in a Spider-Man game. He's also part of the Weapon X program, which is what I'm suspecting will be a main feature, potentially Wolverine escaping Weapon X and being hunted down. I have my theories over who could be behind everything, which is why Sabretooth isn't at number one. I would be really, really surprised if they don't put Sabretooth in this game. It's just pretty much a foregone conclusion. Number two is a character that I have really high up mainly because there is so much creative freedom around this character. He hasn't really been seen in anything really mainstream since the 90s and that's Omega Red. He is a really cool character, a character that I think really is ripe for creating a modern version of him. I feel that this would give Insomniac a ton of freedom with this character to actually be the ones who bring him into 2024 or 2025 whenever this game releases 
releases. Sure, Omega Red's origins are a bit dated. They're tied to the Soviet Union, has superhuman strength as well as other kind of weird powers aside from his metal tendrils. But I think that he's a character that Insomniac could take a lot of creative liberties on. So that's why I actually have him at number two. I think he's kind of a sleeper character that would really pleasantly surprise people and give this game just that added wow factor. So let's just jump right into it. Number one, William Stryker. Not because he's necessarily my favorite villain, but he can be used as the linchpin behind all these villains coming after Wolverine because he is known in most medias that portray him as a mutant hater. That's the person that is behind Weapon X, the one who experiments on mutants and has in certain mediums his own army of mutants that he's makeshift into super soldiers, just like Wolverine. He also has a group called the Purifiers in the comics that could be used as a bunch of henchmen that Wolverine constantly has to fight throughout the game. It just makes too much sense to have him as the main bad guy, although we have seen him in every Every single thing that features Wolverine. I mean, he's just the guy that can be the big baddie behind all these other villains. I just would be very surprised if they don't utilize him. And if they don't, it would be really just because he's been seen way too many times. But I think that Insomniac kind of has a character in him that is just really ripe for a video game that's rich with enemies that get sent by him after Wolverine. They can alter the lore a bit, you know, like they did with X-Men United. You could have Sabretooth, Omega Red, and Lady Deathstrike, even Deadpool, if they decide to go that route, as all essentially these bounty hunters that come after Wolverine and you fight them throughout the game. That seems like in a video game format, what in my opinion would work really well. But as I said in the beginning of this video, this is all speculation. I am very excited to see more material about Wolverine. I thank you so much for hearing me out. And as I said in the beginning of the video, leave a comment below. Let me know which villains you believe could be in Wolverine. And as always, my name's Eric Rosas, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day.